Hey, my name's Graham and I'm at Rimmer's Music here in Bolton and I've put you over my shoulder to see this new fabulous Roland FP30X digital piano built as a portable. So you can get it in black or you can get it in white. It comes with its music's rest, its power supply and, oh, if I can just grab it, one of these square sustain pedals like that. Let's put that back down there. There's a stay, um, no, sorry, the, C, the music rest just pops in like a little slot like that, so it's dead easy. So I've just put it on a Z stand, but you can also get it in black or white, and you, they also do a white wooden stand for it, and they also do a white pedal board for it, where you can have three pedals rather than just the one floating pedal, so that's great. So what it means is you can set it up as a home piano at home, and then you could, if you do gig or whatever, or go to church or do venues or whatever you're doing, you can take this off, take it there, bring it back and put it back on your stand and it's great at home. It also has separate outputs as well, so you can put it through a PA separately, which is brilliant. And you don't usually get that at, at this price point. So it means you can have the, the speakers that are on inside whilst you're connecting that to a PA with separate amplification, however you want it. And it's got 22 watts of amplification inside. Each key has its own separate weight. So it feels and plays like a piano because on a real piano, the hammers are thicker at this end, they're thinner at that end, and they taper down like that. So what they've done on here is give you a separate weight on each key to simulate that. So let's have a listen to the piano sound. <laughs> slim this piano is I think that's brilliant you can get all the sounds there's uh, 56 sounds in total and they're accessed via very few buttons actually they've tried to make it look minimalistic and really modern and smart looking and in doing so what they've done is they've made it so that you operate it by pressing the keys on here and um, related to different button presses there so it'll make more sense in a minute I'll show you so if I pick, say, that digital piano sound, I can just press the button there and you can have this. defaulted to strings so what I've got here is I've got um, volume control buttons a volume uh, sorry an on off button and um, so there's well I'll go from left to right actually so there's an on off button volume controls a function button there's uh, a piano electric piano and others button a split there's three other buttons here that do duplicate things like they change it on your metronome for different beat settings or speed it up and slow it down and then your recording facilities and then on the keys they do different things like this section I'll pick the sound so you press a button there and press a button and it'll pick a sound for you this bit here I'll transpose it into any key that you want so you can play in any key and um, you can change it so you can split the keyboard and have dual settings and things like that Keep little keys over here also the ambience which is like the reverb settings which are set and fantastic or the brilliance and the key touch and master tuning and there's a couple of other things up there regarding setting it up with the with the USB it's also Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth MIDI as well. So let's have a listen to a couple of sounds together so we could have, say, piano and strings like this. <laughs> strings 
stay on. Any sounds that don't naturally fade away will stay on until they release the sustain pedal. So that's, that's great, that. I love it. It gives a nice pad behind you if you wanted it. Uh, but it's got some absolutely fabulous sounds. So that's uh, this, this 56. So how do you access the, the extra ones then? Well, first of all, I could just press, say, split. And what I've done now is I've got a piano up here. And it's automatically put a bass down there. But you can change that to anything that you want. to that piano well how do I access some of the other sounds so the other buttons so far I've got strings on but if you hold down that button and you press a series of keys down this part of the keyboard you can change it to different sounds like this and it's this appropriate effect as well isn't that <laughs> so if I press that again I could say pick that one there, and I've got a guitar. Like that. Brilliant. So those three buttons on the tones, by pressing it and holding it down, and pressing another sound here, will change the sound. So this has got an organ now. And then it will remember that sound and stay in there. Or you can just press it and put it back to something else how you originally wanted it. Or pick something different like this. said 56 sounds you can layer them together you can play them together it's bluetooth audio it's bluetooth mini it will collect to two connections say to two roller naps one's called uh piano designer and the other's called uh, piano every day piano every day gives you songs and everything and there, there's lots of apps like that because you can connect it up to other things you know like garage band and all them kind of, sort of kind of ones. but it'll play songs for you and then you can have say your tablet there and you can have the audio coming through here uh, the piano designer one actually enables you to alter aspects of the sound so like if you put the piano sound on and you wanted more reverb uh, to a more specific level rather than the presets you can do that and it's just easier and you could also then resave that as a setting into the piano so you've got it exactly how you want it as well so let's just go back to the piano because that's probably what most people are going to use it for and let's have another listen to that and maybe with a different style, like this. It's great. So if you're looking for um, a portable piano that can uh, maybe teach you how to play using the apps that you want to connect to other things, it's got Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth MIDI, you can connect it and use it to control a keyboard, or maybe you just want to put the metronome on and play. It's an absolutely brilliant piano. Great value for money. Brilliant if you're a gigging musician. Brilliant if you're all if you're an absolute beginner. 
you can set it up to be a, a full horn piano if you want on a wooden stand and everything so it looks great or you can just have it on portable stands like this or on a desktop and, and all sorts of things like that it's got loads of songs built in as you can hear as well so hopefully you, you've liked my um, explanation of this a bit more and uh, I, I do what you get one because it is really good it's massively popular as well and we're, we're dead excited to have them in well my name's Graham again I'm at Rimmer's Music uh, please if you could watch it and subscribe to our YouTube channel and pass it on and stuff and, and buy one off us and tell everyone else to buy one off us that would be brilliant and uh, thanks for watching bye